Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Flow of Consciousness YouTube channel. This video will be the first of a 30-part video series talking about the book Shadows Before Dawn by Teal Swan, finding the light of self-love through your darkest times. And it's actually the second time that I read this book because I think it is definitely worth a second read. And I'm actually a big fan of Teal Swan. She taught me so many valuable lessons and things. So I feel like I want to honor what she did for me by creating a video series where I break down her book. Because this book is actually a book that can help you guide you through your journey towards self-love. And it definitely did that for me. In the book, she describes 29 tools that you can use in order for you to learn the skill of self-love because I believe that it is a skill just like relationships are a skill the relationships with oneself the love that you feel with yourself the love relationship that you build with yourself is a skill that you can learn now sometimes we might find ourselves in a whirlwind of confusion and we don't really know which direction to take and in that case especially for me, this book really helped me get some more structure, some more clarity. And self-love is a very elusive concept, right? I never really understood what it actually means to love yourself. I recorded a few videos talking about this, so you can go watch those after you finished watching this one. I will put them somewhere in the end screen. Initially, I had kind of like a problem with this term, right? Self-love, it sounds so cheesy almost, you know, oh, love yourself. But it's really not about that. It's just about giving yourself the attention and the care that you deserve because you really do deserve the love, attention and care that you so desperately crave and need from others. You can actually give that to yourself. Now, many of us are raised in an environment where we are not really supported. You might have been talked down by some of your teachers or maybe parents or friends and you start to install beliefs about yourself which say that you are unworthy, that you are unlovable. And that's where a lot of the problems you face in life stem from. Now these beliefs, you can actually change those. As a young child, as a two-year-old toddler you were not thinking to yourself i am unlovable i am unworthy no these beliefs they form over time now you can also do the reverse you can install new beliefs and that is what the tools in this book helped me do and will hopefully help you do as well now because of the negative reinforcement we received growing up people telling us that you need to shut up what you're feeling is not okay get over it, don't be angry, all these things. Self-hate or more accurately self-abandonment is a logical consequence of that happening. So by the time we are adults, we almost hold a firm, untouchable belief that we are inherently bad, that we don't deserve to take care of ourselves. And this is a perpetual cycle that we tend to extend by looking for more and more proof that we are not lovable. Now this leads to us looking for external sources of validation. We try to get the love from other people by meeting their expectations. But this is not real love. This is just you trying to fit in, you trying to mold yourself into someone who is worthy of love because you hold a firm belief that your true self, your authentic self is not worthy of this love. So this is a perpetual cycle that once you understand that you're in it, you can make a decision to break that cycle. And that is exactly what this video series is hopefully going to help you do. Now, how do you want to use this toolkit moving forward? You already took the first step. You realize that you are stuck in a perpetual cycle of self-loathing, right? Now, the second step is to be willing to break that cycle. But since you're watching this video, you are most likely already willing to break that cycle. So the intention is there. This is the most important step you need to take. Because if you're unwilling to break the cycle, then there is no possible way for you to actually break it. There has to be an intention. There has to be a willingness to change. Now, if you're willing, I invite you to join me on a self-healing 
journey. Each video will provide you with a tool or technique which you can use to teach yourself self love now don't expect to apply everything that i teach in these videos all at once because you will feel completely overwhelmed and most likely give up take it one step at a time find the tools that resonate with you and stick to those as you try even small steps you will gain confidence in yourself and the process so now if you're willing i invite you to follow me along on a journey towards self-healing using the 29 tools that i will describe in the following videos now you might not want to apply all these tools all at once you might find yourself drawn towards a few that resonate really well with you and those are worth considering those are worth paying attention to because your organism is trying to tell you that this might be a potential route for you to go down however i would invite you to keep an open mind and at least entertain any of these tools as potentially helpful to your situation as you try to take small steps you will gain confidence in your ability to heal yourself you will start to gain more and more trust in yourself because you're showing up for yourself daily and this is a very powerful message that you're sending to your subconscious which will eventually help you replace the old negative beliefs with new empowering beliefs so don't be afraid of the information that i will share with you in this video series i promise you that you will find ways to integrate these tools into your life so i hope that you're as excited as i am to embark on this journey towards self-love and i'll see you here in the next video for the first tool thank you for being here with me i hope to see you there and as always thanks for watching